Welcome back to 90 Plus One, where you're about to learn a bunch of facts about this lispy bastard from this lispy bastard. 1. Harry Kane was born in Walthamstow and has one older brother. 2. He was born in the same hospital as David Beckham, but more famously, George Wright. It's not factually correct though, don't, don't, don't worry. 3. His childhood idol was Teddy Sheringham, whose real name is actually Edward, which happens to be Harry's middle name. Wow, what a tenuous link. 4. He is, and always has been, a Tottenham fan. 5. However, he joined the Arsenal Youth Academy when he was just 8 years old, and was released into the wild after just one season. 6. He then had a trial at Tottenham, but they too turned him down, so he joined the Watford Academy. 7. He eventually convinced someone at Tottenham that he might be good at football and was actually employed as a holding midfielder. 8. On his 16th birthday, he signed a scholarship contract with his favourite club. 9. He earned a whiff of first-team football in 2010, making it to the bench after scoring 18 in 22 for the under-18s. 10. He went on loan to Leighton Orient and scored on his first ever start in professional football. 11. The following season he made his debut for Tottenham in the Europa League, where he won a penalty, took the penalty and missed the penalty. 12. He was limited to just six Europa League appearances that year, scoring his one and only goal against Shamrock Rovers. 13. The mouth breather joined Millwall on loan and showed his promise by scoring seven in the last 14 games of the season before being named Millwall's Young Player of the Year for 2011-12. 14. Kane returned to Tottenham on a mission to be the big man, scoring a hat-trick in pre-season against Southend before making his long-awaited Premier League debut against Newcastle. 15. He would play in the Premier League that season, but instead of being a cockerel, he was a canary. Ah, birds. 16. The Gourmet on loan canary broke a metatarsal in his second appearance, and didn't play again until December. 17. However, he was recalled by Tottenham in February to boost their attacking options. They loaned him out again 20 days later to championship side Leicester City. He scored on his debut and reached the playoff semi-final, where he lost to the club he was at as a child. 18. Although he struggled to consistently get into the Leicester starting 11, Kane said it was the first time he had doubted his career, and he even told his father he wanted to leave. 19. In 2013 14, he earned his first Premier League start after a strong performance in the League Cup. He took his big chance and scored against Sunderland before scoring in the next two matches. 20. 2014 15 was his true breakout season, but he had to force his name onto the team sheet with performances in other cup competitions. He scored in both legs of the Europa League playoffs before scoring against Nottingham Forest in the League Cup, and then finally scoring his first professional hat-trick against Asteras Tripoli. 21. In that game, Hugo Lloris got sent off and with no subs left, Harry Kane stepped up to go and goal for three minutes. He let in an absolute howler from a free kick, which is, I mean, understandable, to be fair. 22. In Kane's first North London derby, he scored twice to come from behind and beat Arsenal. 23. He has a cracking seven goals and eight against Arsenal, only failing to score against them twice. 24. In 2015, he consecutively won two Player of the Month awards, becoming only the fourth player to do so. 25. In total, he's won six Player of the Month awards, matching Steven Gerrard for the most. 26. This is usually the part where I say trophies he's won, but he, uh, I mean, he hasn't won any. Ugh, awkward. The closest he came was in the 2014-15 League Cup. Kane said he'll trade his next 100 goals for one Premier League trophy with Tottenham. 27. Despite being their best player for the past four seasons, he's only been Tottenham's Player of the Year once. 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 It's, it's a real, it's horrible, isn't it, Mr. Kane? It's just dreadful. I can't say once, and you probably can't say it either. Once. 28. He's won the Premier League Golden Boot for the past two years, and currently leads the top scorers this season. 29. He's also been in the PFA Team of the Year for the past three seasons. 30. In 2014-15, he became the first Tottenham player since Gary Lineker in 1991-92 to score at least 30 goals in all competitions. 31. He finished with 21 league goals in his breakthrough campaign, equaling the most the Tottenham player has scored in a single Premier League season. 32. When Kane scored his 22nd goal in the 2015-16 season, he became Tottenham's highest goal scorer in a single Premier League season and still has six games left to play. 33. With only two games left of the 2016-17 season, he was two goals behind Romelu Lukaku. He scored seven in the next two games to leapfrog Lukaku and finish top scorer again. 34. After 12 games, 900 minutes and 44 shots, he has still never scored a Premier League goal in August. 35. 
As soon as it turned September in 2017-18, he scored a brace in three of his next four appearances for Tottenham. 36. In the same season, he became the fourth Premier League player in history to score 20 goals or more in four seasons in a row. 37. Tottenham once had to send a minibus to save him from mental fans in Sydney. 38. When Adebayor left, he changed his number from 18 to 10 to become a club legend. 39. For some reason, he's a big fan of American football and supports the Patriots. Whee! I don't understand American football, but they lost, didn't they? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Touchdown! 40. He has two dogs named after NFL players Tom Brady and Russell Wilson. 41. He's also an avid golfer, which is like every single f boring footballer ever. 42. He refuses to drink alcohol during the football season and doesn't go to nightclubs. 43. He hires a chef to perfectly make all his food every day to optimise his nutrition. 44. He plays fantasy football and once failed to captain himself and ended up scoring a brace and getting two assists against Chelsea. 45. 58 of his Premier League goals have come in the second half. 46. He scored only one direct free kick. 47. 35 of his 132 goals for Tottenham were match-winning finishes. 48. He scored 26 with his left foot, 60 with his right and 15 with his head. 49. So far this season, he has scored more goals than Swansea, West Brom, Burnley and Brighton. 50. Kane broke Alan Shearer's record for Premier League goals in the calendar year, scoring 39 in 2017. 51. He scored eight hat-tricks in the Premier League, with six of them coming in 2017. 52. He scored 56 goals in all competitions in 2017, which made him the first player to beat Messi and Ronaldo for most goals scored in a calendar year. 53. The only major club competition he hasn't scored a hat-trick in is the League Cup. 54. Kane is the first player to score consecutive Premier League hat-tricks on two separate occasions. 55. The most he scored in the game was four in a 6-1 route of his old team, Leicester. 56. He may have 132 goals for Tottenham, but he is only the ninth best scorer for his club. He needs 134 more to match Jimmy Greaves. 57. He's got 19 goals for Tottenham in Europe, but his record is actually worse than Jermaine Defoe's. 58. He's the second quickest player to 100 Premier League goals, taking 141 games to do so. Aguero took 147, but Alan Shearer took just 124. 59. Despite having 59 less shots than Lukaku, Kane has hit the woodwork the same amount of times as him. 60. He's already hit the post six times this season, the most out of anyone. 61. If you're going to score, you're going to need to shoot, obviously. But Kane takes this to a new level, having had 150 shots this season, 47 more than Mohamed Salah and 62 more than Aguero. 62. Someone needs to tell Kane the offside rule, considering he and also Jamie Vardy, you right shark boy, have been flagged offside 29 times already this campaign. 63. Eric Dyer and his f***ing fat head has shared the pitch with Harry Kane the most times out of anyone. 64. Deli Ali is probably his preferred teammate though, with them combining to score 26 goals together. 65. He's faced Jose Font, Winston Reid and Mark Noble the most times out of anyone. Collectively, he's lost to them the same amount of times that he's beaten them. 66. However, he has beaten Font the most as well as Morgan Schneiderlin, Gilfie Sigurdsson, Ashley Williams and Johan Kabai. 67. Julius Caesar. Caesar salad. Sir Digby Chicken Caesar. Caesar Caesarian? Uh, Julio Cesar. Cesar as Piliqueta. That's the one I want. That him. You know him. Old Harry Kane here has lost to him a whopping six times. The most out of anyone. 68. His biggest ever result was a 7 1 ravishing, ravish, rev, rev. They won by a lot. That's what I'm trying to get at here. Of Hull City. 69. He may have scored seven career goals against West Ham, but he's lost to them more times than he's beaten them. Come on, you Irons. 70. He doesn't have that problem against Hull though, beating them more than anyone else. 71. His best goal scoring record is against a team he was once on loan to, netting a whopping 11 and getting two assists against Leicester. 72. He's only ever received one red card. 73. According to Transfermarkt, his current market value is 120 million quid. 74. His worst ever defeat was 6 0 to bloody Birmingham by order of the Peaky Blinders. Looking like Thomas Shelby. That was. 75. He's engaged and has a child with his childhood sweetheart, Katie Goodland. 76. She too played for Tottenham at youth level. Watch out for next week's 90 plus 1 about Katie Goodland. 77. 
When she gave birth to their child, Kane announced the news with this tweet. However, it really annoyed West Ham's Karen Brady for some reason, as she wrote, Congratulations to Harry Kane for his assist in the birth of daughter Ivy Jane. But that's all it was. All the heavy work was done by your girlfriend, Harry, although you might not think so from his tweet. What an incredibly weird Tory thing to say. 78. He scored with just his third touch on his England debut. 79. He's played at nearly all England youth levels since under 17. 80. He was eligible for the Republic of Ireland due to his father being born in Galway. 81. When he missed a penalty against Turkey in 2016, he became the first England player to completely miss the target since Peter Crouch in 2006. 82. So far for England, he has 12 goals and 23, scoring 7 in 6 games in 2017. 83. Harry Kane is 6 foot 2 and is, as we all know, bloody good at doing the whole score a goal malarkey. So it's odd when he was put on corner kick duty during Euro 2016. Roy Hodgson said he was the best player to take them. He was not. 84. He said being released from Arsenal was the best thing that ever happened to him, because it gave him the drive to succeed like never before. 85. I would like to dedicate this next fact to a simple slideshow of photos from Harry Kane's MySpace page. Enjoy. Eighty-six. Like all the best people in the world, he has a sight lisp. Just a sight one. Not a big lisp. Just a little one. Lisp. God, imagine if I talk like that. You think mine was bad. That's bad. Eighty-seven. His lowest card on FIFA was rated sixty-seven, but five years later and his best card is rated ninety-six. Eighty-eight. Harry Kane is somehow only on 110k a week, which is the same as Kolasinic and Ashley Young, and less than Christian Benteke and Daniel Sturridge. 89. That sounds like he should probably get a new agent. He currently shares that agent with Zaha, Andros Townsend, Antonio, Kuyate, and Aaron Cresswell. 90. Paul Time! Do you think Harry Kane would leave if Real Madrid bid for him? Or is he the one genuine player who would stay because of his love for the club? Vote now! Or don't. Not particularly bothered. Follow me on Twitter though. Great fun. Comedy Gold. Fact 91. Oh, I mean, I couldn't find any more, to be honest, boys and girl. So I'm just going to let this play out, and I hope you don't notice. There we go. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, smash that like button. <laughs> do, you, do I have to bleep? I don't know. Let's find out. Did I bleep it? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs>